Spider-Man the Animated Series was a big part of my childhood, as was their wickedly awesome version of the Clone Saga. And no one was cooler than the Peter Parker with that dope silver armor. A fan favorite even for his limited screen time, they've made action figures of this Spider-Man in the past, but not to the quality of a modern Marvel legend. So when it was announced that we were finally going to get a retro spider armor Peter Parker from the animated series, I just knew I had to get him. I mean, this is a holy grail of an action figure. And to finally have him here with my other Hasbro Marvel Legends make it that much more fun. And whether you're a fan of the Armored Spider-Man from the animated series or an OG fan from his comic appearance in Web of Spider-Man number 100, you cannot deny that the retro packaging is sleek and beautiful stylized to perfection only to hold the contents of a Peter Parker at peak performance within its packaging. So let's take a look at this bad boy. The detail and the coloring in the suit is perfect because in the comic it is composed of a pseudo metallic compound that Peter developed at Empire State University. It is supposed to be one of the more fan favorite of the suits and there's a reason for that. I mean, he has a couple of different armor related suits, but this one's the best and stands the test of time for a reason. One and foremost, the most important part is it is bulletproof, which is a lot of fun, and it's much more sturdy and, you know, not likely to be destroyed. The articulation is pretty good for a Marvel legend. I mean, you have, you know, swivel and joint movement all across the actual arm which is pretty nice, um, as well as some movement as you have in the actual legs. Doesn't go all the way up, but still fine with the torso there. The only real gripe though is besides its awesome movement in the legs, there is no ab crunch and there's no butterfly joints. But other than that, it's still pretty poseable. For accessories, he comes with two web slinging hands, as well as two different types of webbings that you can put on characters for all kinds of fun. If we wanted to look at scale, he's at the baseline of six inches for all Marvel Legends. Here he is with some others, as well as some of my Power Rangers, and then some of my DC Mattel. So overall, you can see that this is a pretty cool toy that fits very nicely with my other spiders, depending whatever he's kind of getting into. Ultimately, this is one of those toys that I've wished for for a very long time. And now that he's here, he looks also oh good in the collection. 